So here's the situation. We have a front pin. I've tried to get um, really quite aggressive and, and, and challenge that front pin, but I've come up a club short and I'm, I'm about you know, 15, 10 yards off the front edge of the green. I don't have a lot of green to work with. So the shot I always choose here really, no matter what, is, is the 60 degree lob wedge. I like to loft it onto the green, you know, have it roll out just a couple feet. I feel like that gives me the best opportunity to make this shot. And the way I do that is, is mostly in setup. Um, you know, most people, most amateurs tend to get the ball way too far back in the stance with the club sort of leaning forward too much and that exposes the front edge. You know, the most important thing about this shot is using the back edge, the bounce, and uh, that will help get the ball up nice and, and, and softly and come out, come out uh, just rolling just a little bit and, and give you a good chance of making this. Now the way you do that is obviously get the ball position a lot more forward, almost off my front foot, and I'm really making sure when I take my swing, the club and the toe is staying up, it's nice and open, it's coming through and it's staying open as it goes through as well. The left hand sort of fold nicely by my left pocket and the ball should just loft up and, and finish pretty close to the hole. Let's try and hit one. So there you go, that was a little bit hard, I mean a little bit clumsy. I mean, I hit that four or five feet by, but that was the right kind of shot. You know, I had a chance to go in. Um, it wasn't getting away from me too much. And, uh, you know, I'd like to expect to, to get it a little bit closer, but uh, that wasn't a bad effort. Let's try and get it a little bit closer. So obviously that's a tap in, you know, I'm going to get up and down. That's, that's the goal. Uh, to always get up and down, not waste shots around the greens. That's where you can really lower your handicap and become a, one of the best players in the world. I try not to hit too many shots in a row. So, you know, sometimes we use rings, three foot rings that, uh, you know, a six foot diameter, so it's three foot around the hole. You know, and once I've got five shots into that ring and I've given myself maybe some chances to make some of those, then I'll move on to the next shot. That's always the goal to try and hold it. I think, uh, you know, if you focus on something a little bit more specific, it becomes a lot easier. If you try and just think, oh, if I can get it around the hole to five or six feet, you know, it's not really focusing your mind properly. You know, the more you focus on something a little bit smaller, you know, even look at a particular part of the hole, you know, be even more specific and see it going in the left edge or the right edge, you know, and the more specific you can be, the more it switches on your brain.